everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. This is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make Tanuki Udon. Tanuki Udon is hot udon noodles with tempura bits. Tanuki means raccoon, and there are some stories behind the name Tanuki Udon, such as the color of the tempura bits is like a raccoon, but no one knows which story is the truth. By the way, there is a dish called kitsune udon, meaning fox udon too. Maybe I will share the recipe someday. At the end of the video, I will show you how I built a menu with this tanuki udon, so stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. Four frozen udon noodles, Japanese leek, tenkasu or tempura bits, kamaboko fish cake, 2 tablespoons mirin, 2 tablespoons soy sauce, 1 tablespoon hondashi instant Japanese soup stock, and 1 teaspoon salt. I'm making the broth first. 4 cups of water into the pot. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Two tablespoons mirin. One teaspoon hondashi. One teaspoon salt. And just bring it to boil and the broth is ready. Very easy. I'm preparing boiling water to cook the udon noodles. In the meantime, let's prepare the toppings. Kamaboko fish cake. Remove the film. And another film too. Kamaboko usually comes with this wooden plate. So let's remove it from the plate. slices per person so let's make eight slices like this Japanese leek you can use scallion or green onion something flavorful let's cut the top off because it's dried out and let's make thin slices So I'm cooking the udon noodles. I'm just going to follow the instruction on the package. Looks good, so let's strain it into the strainer. Put on noodles into the bowl. Broth I made at the beginning. Two slices of kamaboko. Thinly sliced Japanese leek. Tempura bits as much as you like. And Tanuki Udon is ready to go. Time for the tasting. Itadakimasu. It's a deep fry, so it adds nice body to the whole dish. Some parts are still crunchy, some parts are soft by soaking up all the tasty broth, and it's delicious. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, two side dishes. Tanuki udon kind of replaces rice, soup, and main dish. So let's put it here and nothing here and here. 
for one of the side dishes, I usually have some sort of pickles. I'm sorry, I don't have video for this one yet. For the other side dish, I think I want to have some more protein, so let's have ramen egg. Ramen egg is perfect as a topping for ramen, but it's good to eat by itself without ramen. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!